Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Zeppelin and welcome back to the channel. Now, it has been a couple of days since I recorded the last set of videos, the reactions that you've been seeing coming up on the channel over the past few days uh, were recorded nearly a week ago. I wasn't feeling really up to doing more reactions. I was feeling a bit under the weather, so I took a couple of days and now I'm back to continue with the second half of the Muse Origin of Symmetry Anniversary album. Now, we finished off the last time with the Citizen Erased, which I think is an absolutely brilliant song that they've done a wonderful remaster to. And I'm moving on to one now that I'm quite excited to listen to called Microcuts. Now, Microcuts is a song that's sort of weird overall on the album, you know. It's sort of not not their not their most favorite song by, by fans, but it almost has its like cult following. And definitely uh, shows the, the range that Matt Bellamy has. And then towards the end shows the, the power that Muse can have in their riffs. So <clears throat> I'm very curious to see what they have done with this one. Now, as I said before, I have heard a section of this one before. And I know they've added a new a new instrument. And I think it's it's the harpsichord, I believe. And overall, I'm just very excited excited to hear how it sounds in headphones like these and excited to see what they've changed and curious to see what they've left i have a feeling this one's going to get quite a good score technically all of them have but i i do have a feeling that i am going to quite like this one so without further ado let's get straight into muse microcuts the re the anniversary remaster the remix or remaster i don't know what to call it but let's just get straight into it Oh, the harpsichord's way more strong there. Let me just boost the volume. Oh, that's new as well. Way more classical feel to it with the harpsichord. It was classical in general, but my god. Nice that the vocals are a little clearer on this as well. Alright, it's about to kick in there. I'll rewind literally just a second before it hits into the chorus, but I, I mentioned there quickly just as the song was going on that the vocals are way clearer, and my god, if there was any song that needed a little more clarity in its vocal presence, it is this song from this album, and they, they're just... You know, you could have any band revisit any album and either be lazy with it or change too much with it. I have I have not really spotted one thing yet that I disagree with in terms of, of changes, you know? I actually, I saw a comment there, I think it was on the Newborn video, something about the guitar being a little subdued on, 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 on a part and the drums being made uh way way stronger and i actually i mentioned before i listened to a little bit of megalomania and i've heard the chorus of megalomania on my phone um there's a potential valid criticism in that the drums maybe at certain points are a bit too too boosted and too overpowering but i i think that comes down to personal opinion for me i still like it so i'm really liking what they've done overall in the album they really haven't put a foot wrong and I don't think they've put a foot wrong here either. They've done, they're doing exactly what they needed to do to, to this song because this song, especially, that could be considered one of the more ones that grew stale. So it, very good that they gave it a new lease of life. Let me just bring it back two seconds here as we head into the chorus. Oh, the harmony is way clearer, or the voice is in the right ear. ear. Well, that's added on. Oh, 
All right, I want to pause there quickly. Sorry, I want to get... I need to be doing pauses in this to try and avoid copyright as much as possible. And I want to try and pause at relatively even increments. And I don't really want to cut much as we come into the end of the song. So I would have paused after the chorus, but I didn't want to be pausing too much either. So I thought I'd let that run. The chorus is very well done. I mean, I've always thought the chorus was very well done. I mean, the vocals being a bit subdued was maybe the only thing that was ever wrong with it in the original, which they have obviously fixed here. But... No, they're doing a they're like they're they're doing a good job. I mean, again, I think I mentioned this in the plug in baby video. It's sort of hard to sometimes add something new on in terms of what to say to a song. I've literally literally heard a million times. I mean, this album has been essentially I've listened to maybe at least one song from this album nearly every day for the guts of four to five years. So you can imagine that everything that maybe I'd want to say about it, I've already kind of already thunk out and processed, and maybe even said to other people over the years when I'd be trying to get them to listen to these types of songs or to, to muse songs in general so I mean in terms of just analyzing the song from a perspective of not listen, having listened to it before I can't do that but I just feel it's 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 a very good song again that they've made better I mean it's a song that is sort of I know for me it's it's a personal it's one of the more personal favorites. Like, I know it's not up there in the album. And if anything, if you're to take the album altogether, it's probably one of the worst songs. But there's something for me, the simplicity of it. I like the falsetto. I like the classical element. I like the rock it goes into towards the end. I like the kick of the chorus. You know, it's 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 a personal favorite that they're doing a, a great job with here. That's a great kick. Alright, I'll just pause there real quick before it gets into the, the end part of the song. One thing I, I actually, it was probably there in the first chorus, but I'm only after really noticing it now, is, it, is that the bass not the bass work more so the um the tone the tone of it is is way grittier and 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 way more prominent and, and i really like it it adds to the especially to that chorus element it needs a bit of a you know big kick and you know, gritty and you know dark and it it really really works the tone that they, that they've gotten on that bass and the fact that it comes through i mean that's just a credit to this remastered album in general as that Again, I think I mentioned in the first couple of songs that I reacted to that you can pick out every single element and every single little instrument and thing that they add in that they've always been so good at doing in their albums, but in the earlier albums was very muddled. So from a production standpoint, it's a production artist's wet dream. I, I'd say this album, listening to try and trying to pick apart all the pieces that they put together in this. made that bit way clearer. Oh, the drums on this sound way better, this part. Oh, they are... It's gone straight onto screenager. Let me pause there. Wow, that went weird at the end. It, it, see, I was expecting. You see, usually what they did with that guitar when that guitar plays in a zone, it used to warp from left to right. I mean, arguably it's cheesy by today's standards, so maybe it's a good thing they didn't put in. But 
at the end there they seem to put in um like disjointed sound like rewinded highly edited distorted uh vocals in the background like sort of disturbing vocals and you know in a way it's actually difficult it's just difficult to say how i feel about that because don't get me wrong i really like it i really like it but as someone you know my dad's a big rage against the machine fan you know i'm obviously now a big muse fan muse are heavily influenced by rage against the machine just being able to do simple headbanging to music borderline runs in my family so in in that it, it the distorted vocals makes you want to listen more if that makes sense rather than just you know banging your head away you know it, it's curious it's curious you, you kind of just prick your ear up to it more so than getting lost in it which i think it doesn't take away from the original but i think it does change it a little bit and especially i don't know I'm, try, I'm trying to think of a way to word it it's i think maybe though again this is coming from ears that i've listened to this song so many times that i've only picked up on it you know it's again because it's a remaster and listen to the old album i'm looking for any new details whereas if you just listen to this song with without really a care you probably just w would be able to to get away with it and maybe for me as well after a couple of listens i get used to it and be able to head bang uh along with it as well it's just it, it it's interesting and my sort of little personal worry is that it does change it a little bit but listen there's plenty of live versions where they do it super cool as well. It's the beautiful thing about this band. If there's something about maybe the album performances that you don't like, they probably do as a part of it that you do like in the, in the, in the live performance. It, it's it, that's, the, that's the best thing with them, honestly. So, yeah, I really, really liked that. It's definitely one of the songs that I think they've messed with the most in terms of adding little bits here and there, the harmonies, the improvement of clarity in the vocals other instruments and then obviously what i was just after talking about with all that stuff at the end so definitely a 9 out of 10 for me uh but i know that's just again a very personal raising because i really really like this song in terms of, of of remaster so far it probably has to be just under space dementia i think space dementia is going to be the king in this to be honest for for what they've changed but yeah in terms of what they've changed with it it falls just under space dementia and i think if i was to do a list in that category i think citizen erase then would fall third but yeah i really like that and i can't wait to get on to the next one and i hope you're enjoying these reaction this reaction series so far i've been seeing some of the comments in the videos that have just come out and i'm really glad people are enjoying it i'm really enjoying doing this and i can't wait to get on to more bands and more albums and obviously we're going to be having a muse album probably at the end of this year and that's going straight up on this channel without a doubt uh reacting to it um i'm really happy with how this is going down i'm glad you're enjoying it and i can't wait to do more and i can't wait to get on to screen editor which you will be able to hear tomorrow if you're watching this the day it comes out remember i am reacting to one song a day but i'm reacting to multiple songs at once but the videos are coming out once a day if you're watching this way in the future all of the videos should already be out in the channels so make sure to give them a watch and as i said if the video has just come out there will be another video tomorrow and i hope you will enjoy that as much as you enjoyed this unless you didn't enjoy this in case i in that case i hope you enjoy the next one way more so i will see you then peace